dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood, EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan an option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325 9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. The Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violation held a press conference today, 4th in November 2018, at their head office in Senegambia. The victims gathered at the center to commemorate their loved ones who lost their lives during the November 11th coup. Abdullah Dabo, a survivor, said November 11 coup was the most serious crime committed by the former regime, and he explained what had happened on that fateful day. When shall we have the judgment? When shall we be given the verdict? Today marks 24 years of hardships, sorrow, lost families. Today is the day when Gambians were paraded They were paraded and soldiers standing behind them, counting after three, started shooting them. November 11 is the most serious and the most major serious crime committed in Gambia in the history. November 11, we shall never forget, and we shall never forgive. November 11, we were arrested, tortured, killed, detained, sentenced unwrongfully without a proper judicial system. And we need judicial system. We need it to, to be held. And how can we be held? We can. We tried. But still, there is no answer to our call. November 11 is the day. That we shall never forget. And those who were doing such are still walking in the streets with guns, uniforms, and other things. How will we see ourselves in this society? We the victims. Those who commit crimes are still flying over our heads. We the victims, where can we go? and where to go, and how to go. I was arrested together with the late Lieutenant Basiru Baro, there. The late Lieutenant Dotfal, Ba, Lieutenant Dabo, Say, and others who were brutally killed by the military junta. Under no circumstance. We have a, 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 a minor dispute between us, and they change those things to a military coup. 
started killing people wrongly, arresting people in their home. Direct from there, kill them. Some were innocents and they received serious injuries, torture, some even lost their lives. The day we were arrested, we were taken to mile two, and that's very nice. After some minutes, we were collected from mile two to Pajara Barracks, where we were paraded, started killing us. After the count of three, you just had the weapons all over your body. The South soldiers started dropping down. After seven o'clock in the morning, when they said now every people can see each other. Now we were transported back to Yundu barracks, where another soldier came into the vehicle and just looked at us. He stepped on my chest like this. He was just seeing the vehicle and said, oh, these people are not there. Give me the gun. We give him the gun again. Started killing, completely those people. Later on, I was told to dig my own grave to be buried alive. Because the person in charge was calling me in law, my in law, because he married to my nephew, my niece. That's why he called me in, my in law. If the God cannot kill you, I will bury you alive. Bring out the spirit and pick us for me to dig my own grave yes. But I thank Allah who spare me to be a witness today for the entire guardians and the victims. These people behind me were sentenced for nine years wrongfully without proper judgment. And we are urging this new government to urgently assist us through the help of the victim center that we need body. Our voice needs to be heard. It's hard to say, but let's just take that people. Because the person who stood on my case killed my friends. And every time I'm seeing him in uniform, passing by, we prayed in the same house. At times, when I see what comes to my mind is, let me die and once and for But I said, no. The Allah who spared me, one day will join. In prison for nine years, six months, Kairaba Kamara, a member of the nine victims that were arrested, expressed his frustration to the government for still allowing the Jame enablers in the system. Six months detention, nine years jail. Uh, Unwrongfully, because normally in Gafa, in the Gambia Gafa, as far as the army Gafa is concerned, Hadama di Munia Muta, Nia Muta, Eko Soya Rolami, Soya Riala, Soya Riala, Lua Lesoro, Soya Riala, Belkova, Ae, So Aluanin, Soya Soya Bukani Carafulo Bella, Nia Offenske, Civil Civil Anola Carola. It's a summer civil civil suit, it's a uniform of land at a civil court. Near Sujaria for Ne, Tiaroki at a court martial. All right, Alhamdulillah, you can't tell me that you are okay, you are 11 11. Memo Mangta Fenkan for Fania Lana Balia, Manghani now, or wrong with Fania for ya Lana, more the best Sujaria, Halibi, Tilo, Melia Lonco, Wolu, best Sujaria Kono, ye more fale. Yemuni Banco Dinkendo Muta Yefa, Faniakang, a manke to Nati for Faniakang, in Alana Kila, Yolfa, Faniakang, Conanteakang, it's a less selfless interest camp. 
ye fa wala kan nde tom kara ba kamarati ma ndel men yen sorong dara fo mo woro wala fo saya ye men sorong yen tel men sorong dil men kanada fama bari na fa na kanon fama atala man sodon nen kanandi bata de kere mo bata benje il a fait comme ça, par allemand son yem fa, allemand ni odi boulou, voilà ni mam fa no. Par il a fait là non comme ça, il est quatre becs, par allemand son, il a atteint allemand démarre au camp, allemand il a voulu la foule le chromo ni par quoi comment, ni mam fa no. Au terme à tel allemand son, abah Allah ou Subhan ou tel allemand dans là, démarre au même qu'un as continue ni voilà, ni jaoul c'est ma fa tel allemand sur son saoul le jaoul ma, ni mam ça dans là, ni une tenue non là la fouja ni allemand bec la niami. We can only forgive, but we cannot forget. The Nidala, from the dunya ni dunya ben beke la nyami. Kana mome ye sorong sanji kono ndo kari waro ila dunya balu kono. Isela u sanji kono ndo kari waro menge inyante okele ila dimbali yetu koma. Mumansho de membe maken fo Allah subahana wa ta'ala donne balu ndi koma. Woto atala mansho de membe dimbali balu ndi koma. Ndele mamfen shodon si menke na fonga atala mansho nga tendu, nga jayi. Si menfo no mwaliye. Mas tak kundai, bukan asli makro mengkena yang dalam sabi so ia unlawfully terminated. It was unlawfully terminated. Dalam sabi nas nas jo, ia nas jo kuntule. Aman kuntu dari lakang, ia muta. Aman kuntu dari lakang, ia sorong. Aman kuntu dari lakang di. Sangi kuntu kari waro mereka suara. Mas tak kundai juga mengkena kuntu. Mereka si nas sabi melalui muka. Mall melalui alam kau ini bangku dingin dalam muka jang yefa. Bukan mas tak kundai kau. Masa ada kinde gula itu kau ke. Meli alam kau yang mual lah mau kendol mengi, mual lah bangku ding kendol mengi, mula yefa. Ibu dua kali masa kunda kono. Hanya saya kalau fikir, entah dah sejari aku yang nak korek kerja zaman tangan yang old old, ye bondi, old man ke bangku ding ti, bang ibarat dalam itu le le itu le alam. Let them do their finding, ye muta ye, let them bring them before justice. Tonya esabat. Entah kalau nasional sih memfon bangku mengi ala barca. November 11th was not a coup attempt. It was a game between the junta and the small soldiers, Abdullah Jalo, a chief medical officer, explained. I was in the Gambia Armed Forces. I was among the victim of 11-11 November. So 11-11 November, it's not a coup attempt. It was just a game within the junta and the small soldiers. There was an agreement before the coup. During that time, when these people uh, came, the army, they cannot fulfill their achievement. So, you know, let, let them turn the army another game. So, that's what this time they, they start uh, bring this uh, problem. Sam Saban was one of them, one of them, one of Peter, was uh, uh, Edward Singate. So, when these people came to Fajara Barracks, discussed with the soldiers, the dialogues cannot go. So that full night they start arresting people. I was in Fajar as chief medical officer. I was in charge of that camp. When I had the shot at 3 o'clock at night, I wake up with my uniform. Half and half, I went to the clinic. I just passed them, they start firing, going to the Amori. I asked them what happened, they said nothing. Early morning, the first victim they brought, I took him to Banjul for the viral. From there, when I came back, I was finding there executing soldiers. Dotfal was there, Mane was there, most of them was there. That was around 7.30. So it was so soft to me. I don't know what to do. I was standing during that time. Some soldier told me, please run away. I said, I will not run away because I don't know anything. I don't know what is going on. I was there on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was arrested, taken to mile two. From there, I was prosecuted. I was locked for nine years with a hard labor. I accepted it. During in, uh, uh, the problem in mile two, I was another, I have another problem with mile two prisoners, uh, officers, like David Cole. I was sent to uh, Makati for serious punishment. I asked him what's wrong. They said, we are planning another coup against the government. Somebody was locked. You have soldiers are guarding that place. You. Secondly, he said that man is planning another coup. So he was so rampant to us. And he was so painful. I was transferred to Joshua. Later on, brought back to my 
When I came to Maltu, that was this time I started getting this document. I snapped this document from their offices. I snapped it. I snapped my own warrant with my intelligence. I took it out. So they hold me as a what? Medic. I was in charge of that clinic. When any patient sick, I am the one who referred that patient. Because there was no doctor in that mile too. I was the one in charge of mile too during that time. So that's all the time I snapped all my documents from them. So when this center came, some of our some of my uh, comrades went to, to, to Maltu to find their document, but they cannot see it. So that's all the time I saw them. You people, you are not a, uh, you think you people are smart, but you people are not smart. So I was so intelligent more than them. Anything they told me to do, I do it. I was free like any other prisoners. But I was free like any other officers. I was acting like, like an officer. So that's all the time I got all these documents from them. This is 11, 11, 11, 11 came. 11, 11 came with a serious disaster. Some of them are put in uniforms. They are still working in the army. Some are carrying serious heavy ranks. They are still, they are murderers. Some of them. They commit a serious crime. But why those people, they don't take them to the, to the justice side? And still now they are, left, they are leaving those people to, in the army. You see them in the streets. Some of them, if you, if you talk to them, they, they start to... It, it's past. It's past. I can give them, but I cannot forget what, what they have did to me. Was, I cannot talk because my heart, my temper is so fast. It's so fast, definitely. Thank you very much. Abdul Aziz Barrow, son to late Lieutenant Basiru Barrow, emotionally explains how he felt growing up without a dad. Basiru Barrow is my dad. And every year, November 11, it's always a gloomy day for me and my family for the rest of the victims here. For we have taken our fear, share of it this past decade, and we have suffered painful losses. Sometimes it feels like more than we can bear. Yet here we gather, united, not as victims, but as survivors, but as survivors of a brutal regime. Every time we are called, we answer, here I am. Yes, we answer. Fully aware that we are alive, but our loved ones are not here to answer to their name when they are called upon. For our fallen loved ones, we don't even know where they are buried. I am not going to put a silver line on our pain. Because today, we grieve and we remember our fallen and we thank them for their service to us and to the entire nation. Yes, today we grieve. I was one year, four months old when my dad was killed. I grew up without, without one. Back, I could remember back when I was about five, six. I normally go to my friend's house around five, six, when people's their dads are coming from work. They would run towards their dad, Baba Nata, Baba Nata. I didn't have that. So I remember I could, I just stand far and look at people. Imagining how that sensation, how, how, how it feels like. But I never got to have that. So that's what this, uh, this state did. They robbed us of our emotions, of our dreams. Abdul Aziz's father said they felt used and neglected by the government. The journey has been long, and we, the victims, feel as if the government doesn't recognize our pain. Moreover, they ridicule our dilemma by using our name to secure funds. Funds that we, the victims, are yet to see. The Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violation is here as an entity representing victims throughout the nation. The center themselves haven't received any funds from the government to help them in achieving their goals. The Victim Center 
It's an entity that has been doing so much work for us, the victims. And they have done more for us than our own government that we ushered into power. We have taken large amounts, the victim center has taken large amounts of victims for treatment to Senegal, Nyogonjai and others. And we have given micro loans and paid for tuitions for children of victims across the nation without the help of our own government. If our own government fails to represent us, us as the victims, then who else is going to help us? Yama Misise explains why the center was found, what they wish to achieve, and what help they need from the government. Victim center B. Ti sobri jam bi ko hamne victim nga rew mo hamne da nga am government bo hamne da fay not ay nitam ñun paré nañu taxaw ki katan yalla pour taxawu len comme né gambie ak ciono bi nekké won su fekko né amone ñu rew yo hamne ñu ngi taxawalon lu melni da ñu ñew yéné ñu waye amu government du mbolo moko fi tek kon waruta tam da fa wara hamne mbolo mi ko fi tek mom da fa wara nekk ci gannaaw ñun ñu bottu ci gannaaw mu xex la len be fi wara em fok nane yi yeb da fa nekk sédé yo hamne ñun am nañ ko té duñ bayyi nit dañ ñak suñu nit dañ jor suñu mbok dañ lay suñu nit dañ yak ñen ni sen adina dañ japp digen ni def len lo xamne lu waru ta am la té fok nane nit nit nga rek su féké né lu metti da fa dal sa mbok té défé na mbok raw lool government bi nga xamne mo fi outu government bu bon bi fi nekkon fok na mom bu ñëwé da fa wara sol dalam bi mu sekk taxaw ci gannaaw victime té da fa am léna lu bari lu ñuy wax man lolu nanguuma moy né benn parti wala yenn groupe bi ño fi génné ya jamm dédé li xex bo xamné né ñepp ko xex gis nga su collection amul wa nit ñi duñ mëna sani collection du kan su collection amo té doomi gambi yi nek ci biti dajalé wuñ xaliss dimbalé collection ñun ñepp xamone nañ fi naka la mel kenn buñ fi bakku né man ma support collection bi dédé ñepp la su fekko né xaliss amna a collection amna waye doomi gambi yi nek gambi takkuñ sen di gay dem sanni di carte dara du xew kon dama né ñun ñepp nañ wax né li mbolo la li la wax Okay, thank you. Baba Haidara, son of late Data Haidara, said they are watching the TRRC closely and the work they are doing regarding the victim center. If the TRRC doesn't answer to them, we, the victim center, as an institution, we need to look after our own. And our own are these victims. So we will need to do our own thing. And that the only thing we can do is to use the judiciary system. Because we can still take um, whoever was a perpetrator to a victim, the victim is still f uh, free to use the judicial system that we still have. And um, since um, um, before the TRRC, that was the big um, sort of confusion because for the government, they, own, um, they designed this TRRC for their own. And that is to have a big commission that the whole world will you know be watching and all to see that yeah um, we are going through this transitional justice but the victim center also need to answer to the victims that are members of the center and by answering to them is to make sure that their cases are heard so if the government doesn't do it we will use the judicial system to do it. The Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violation demand their rights and they demand justice. Now, reporting for Kirfatu, I am Sally Job.
dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood, EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two years payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security post, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property.